is a mutated form of coronavirus that originated in Spain to blame for Europe's second wave. A second wave that has forced Spain back into a state of emergency and resulted in national lockdowns in France and Germany. The new strain or variant is known as 20A.EU1. The scientific teams that discovered it tracked the variant's origin to a farm in northern Spain. We observed the, the genetic material of SARS-CoV-2 in order to track the virus as it moves between different countries and uh, across time. So we do this by looking at the mutations in the viral genome. Now, it's actually best to think of them a little bit like typos. They happen because the virus replicates so often, but they don't affect the overall message of the virus. Having initially seen the new strain appear in Switzerland, Dr. Hodcroft discovered the same strain in the fruit-picking regions of northern Spain. It then spread through holidaymakers coming into the country. The risky behaviour of those holidaymakers in Spain then helped spread the new variant. The mutation then took hold across the continent as those same holidaymakers returned home. And this is the result. The research showed that the new variant accounted for more than 80% of all coronavirus cases in Spain, the same figure in the UK, 60% in Ireland and 40% in France. Well, all this raises questions about whether the second wave that's currently spiralling out of control right across Europe could have been lessened had nations been more cautious about lifting travel restrictions and whether certain European airports could have done more in terms of screening and testing those passengers arriving from Spain. I think it highlights the importance of making sure not only that we have um, you know, different restrictions and guidelines in place, but that the, we are constantly evaluating how well those are, are working. So it's not enough to just decide to put a quarantine in place. We need to make sure, are people actually following this? So I do think studies like this are helpful for helping us to evaluate what we might be able to change in future so that we can contain the virus more effectively. The race is now on to find out if 20A.EU1 is more deadly or infectious than other variants of coronavirus. Rahul Pathak, CDTN, Madrid.